Hi guys, welcome everyone. Creative Lori here. I will wait till some people jump on. Hopefully some people do. <laughs> well, while I'm waiting for people to jump on, I just wanted to say hello to everyone and that um, I'm a home stager, but I am currently selling some of my dad's jewelry. Hey Pam, hey Cindy. Um, because he's a gemologist and he has just a ton of jewelry. So uh, that's what I am doing for my dad. And I've been doing it for the last three weeks <laughs> um, on Saturday and Sundays. And um, so now I'll probably just do it next Saturday only at uh, 1 o'clock. And I, I should say 1 o'clock loosely because... I feel like I have toddlers at home or something because my puppy <laughs> and so nothing goes as planned <laughs> so please forgive me for always being late it's 2 30 and um, when you set up for a live show you have to take like a live picture and um, my head always gets cut off I'm like oh well you know <laughs> I just go with it but thank you guys for joining me um, Pam and Cindy how are you guys doing Pam, did you get my email too, by the way? Um, the pictures that I had sent, let me know. And I can always, good, okay, great. It's, um, it's hot here again, surprise, surprise. So I am just, I have the AC cranked, so hopefully you guys can't hear the unit because it's literally outside um, past the porch. <laughs> hey Harry, how are you? You're up late, Harry, huh? It's what nine, ten? Oh, ten o'clock there. Not too bad. Oh my gosh, seventy-seven in New Jersey, and it's raining. Ooh, I wish it was raining here. I wish it was seventy-seven. And in the eighties, Pam. Really? Wow. You must get like the wind pushing through the canyon or something. Oh, you're by you're by the beach also, aren't you? Boy, I wish it was like 88 or 80, 77, even 90. I'd be good with 90. Yeah, nice ocean breeze. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Not envious, I'm jealous. Oh, you're only two miles. Oh, no wonder. Okay, yeah, you really are getting nice ocean breeze. Oh my gosh, can you actually hear any of the waves? Probably not, right? But you can, um, you probably see a lot of seabirds also. We get a lot of seabirds here, it's strange. Yeah, no on the, as a crow flies. Yeah, um, we get pelicans. We have a, a huge pelican population here, and they're funny. Um, when they're, you know, in their flock circling over overhead to land, um, they sound like pterodactyls. Oh, gosh, you're, you're half hour away from the beach, huh, Cindy? <sighs> One day I will be. <laughs> I'm happy with being around any water. But specifically, I love the ocean. It's something so magical to me. Uh, I can't even explain it. So I must have been a mermaid in my past life. <laughs> Either that or a clam. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I, what I was saying earlier is that my dad, um, as he is still mending, but I think we might be able to take a trip up to his house in um, Nevada. And when we're able to do that, we'll bring back some more items. Um, I'm not sure if that'll be for the next Saturday auction or if it will be um, uh, maybe the following weekend. Yeah, I don't blame you, Pam. I mean, once you've had a taste of the ocean, <laughs> well, to swim, I like to swim in a pool. I, I like to snorkel in the ocean. Um, I do like just to get in the ocean, but as of late, I've noticed I, I've, um, 
I've gotten kind of creeped out a couple of times. I've had scary situations happen, um, like one in Jamaica, uh, one in Hawaii. So, but yes, normally I just sit on the beach, take it all in and it's beautiful to me. So, um, I don't really go, you know, swimming as much as I used to when I was younger in the ocean, but I like to get in it. It's still magical to me. Um, but yeah, I, I've had some scary experiences where I was like really far out and um, the ocean, you know, uh, floor drops and it's just pure darkness. And then I remember this big ocean turtle, sea turtle came whizzing by me and I got so scared. All I can imagine was this like great white coming towards me. It wasn't, but I, that's all I could think of. And I was really far from my group when we were snorkeling. And um, so I, I quickly paddled back and luckily I'm a good swimmer, but I only had one, one fin. And so I was really going at it. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have done what I did, but um, yeah, I think from now on, I'll probably just stick to the lagoons also. Yep. Yes. Especially after that experience, I got really scared. I've never been that scared before. I had some friends that went to, uh, where were they? They have those um, underwater caves and they're called cenotes. Is that what they're called? And there's no oxygen under the under there. There's no nothing. I mean, there's no animal life. So they take these tours uh, going there, going through there. And I don't think I could do that. I'm not claustrophobic, but gosh, that's pretty scary. Okay, let me get my flip flap flip flop back on and get a little closer. So let's see. I have um, some new stuff and some stuff that I showed a few weeks ago. So I'm, I'm going to start showing that. Um, this is like a new piece. Um, this was, it's sort of like that pendant that Lita bought the other day. Kind of matches actually. It really does match. Um, and it's a beautiful Mojave blue turquoise bracelet. Um, and it's sterling and it's an eight inch long bracelet. Um, this has 25.55 carats of the tur Mojave blue turquoise. Now the work here is gorgeous. I, oh, thank you, Cindy. Thank you. I, a lot of times I just like to throw it up when it gets really hot. Oof. And it just, I have to get it off my neck. It seems like, um, and I don't even have thick hair. I can't imagine people who have really thick hair, like my sister, and she gets so hot from her hair. And uh, I get hot from just my hair. But this, thank you so much for the compliment. <laughs> this actually reminds me of our, uh, the work that they do in Mexico or even Italy. I'm not sure of the origin, where it came from, but um, it is a gorgeous piece. So it's a toggle bracelet, you know, the toggle clasp. And let's see if you can make out the intricate work here. So all the pieces of the Mojave turquoise um, has a smooth setting and then the rope around, the traditional. And then it's in these little settings or um, design setting. Yeah, I know the stones, I love it. Look, look, look at those that gold in there, it's so beautiful. I know you can't make out that little intricate work, but um, it's so beautiful. And then the rope circles, the links that are connecting. Isn't that beautiful? So there's three, five stones. You can see that the setting is really well made on this one. My dad doesn't have too many of these, he said, um, very few. Um, so I don't know how many more that we'll find at his house, but um, it has a little toggle connector, as you can see. And I haven't shined it up yet, so pardon the 
tarnished silver look. And so he was ask, gonna ask 175 on eBay, um, but he's asking 110. And that's just beautiful. And I know you can't see the stones, but you should, well, you can kind of see the gold flickering. It's probably a little bit hazy. It's just beautiful. Really and dainty. Very beautiful. Maybe you could see it better on here. Anyway. Hey, Carolyn. How are you? And my puppy has already started crying already. <laughs> Buddy, I'm right here, okay? I quarantine him over on that side so he doesn't bug me, and that's what he's upset about. I'm good, Carolyn. I'm just um, hot here in California <laughs> and drinking iced, well, it was iced coffee. Now it's melted, but it's funny because I'll get ice, and then I'll put um, like coffee that's already been chilled in it and the ice will start melting. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'll put coffee that's room temperature. Oh yeah, I bet it is hot in Louisiana. My dad lived in Louisiana for a long time. Uh, let's see, he's been all over the state, this, the Mobi or, um, Alabama, Louisiana, and what's the third one I'm thinking of? I can't think of it right now. When you're on camera, it's like you forget everything. Your mind has gone. Um, what part of Louisiana are you from, Carolyn? Okay, guys, I'm going to let him loose really quick. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Freddie, why do you have to do this to me, huh? Good looking. Why do you have to be such a little baby? Oh, come on. Now don't terrorize the cats, please. Okay, don't terrorize the cats. Okay, I'm sorry, Carolyn, if you said what part of Louisiana you're from. <laughs> now he wants me to pick him up. I'm not picking you up right now, buddy. <laughs> okay, this is a Blue Howlite Lab Created Alexandrite. Um, so when they do Lab Created, it's the same exact um, elements that are um, found in the natural form stones. It's just that they create them in the lab. So, and that's very different from simulated because simulated. <laughs> oh, Baton Rouge. My dad lived there for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you guys want him to model the jewelry. He'd be all over the place like a little wiggle worm. Um, so lab created is the real stone, slated is not the real stone. So when I say that, that's what I mean. This is a really beautiful ring, blue howlite is real, but then, and so is the alexandrite, but it's lab created. And you can't tell the difference when they have it tested, you can't tell the difference. It's just that it's not grown in nature, in a, you know, so it's been created. So that's the halite and the um, alexandrite right here. Oops. Isn't that beautiful? It's almost like a blackish blue stone with green. And then what else is there? Um, it's platinum over brass, but it's very... Um, very like it won't bend this won't bend and I'm just trying to see and then it has the embossed metal around the alexandrite this is a pretty ring hi treasure trove how are you I hope you're a lot cooler there wherever you're at Size, sorry, yes. It is a size seven and it's 10.85 carats. And this one is only 35. But if no one buys it, I think I wanna keep it. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't even fit me actually. It's just pretty. 
it's unusual, it's unique. And I hope you guys can see the detail. Ooh, Southern Illinois, I bet it is hot. Yeah. Ooh. I don't even know what it is here today. I think it's 103. It's not as hot as it's been, but it's hot enough. Okay, so size seven, $35. Um, let's see, let's do this one first. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, this is um, an Aurora um, Xandrite. And what else? Oh, and tanzanite. Okay, I can't read my writing sometimes. <laughs> and it is um, platinum over sterling. So an Aurora Xandrite with these um, tanzanite on the sides. Yeah, and... Oh, there are diamonds there. I guess that's what that is. I put D-I-A, diamonds, down below the tanzanite that you see here. Small little diamonds here. And the tanzanite, the Aurora Xandrite. And this one is platinum over sterling, and it's 45. That one's pretty size. I'm sorry, I forgot to say. Oh gosh, this, I can't read what that says. So it is almost an eight. Almost an eight. So like seven and three quarters. And it has the beautiful filigree on the sides here. Right here, that's be it's a beautiful setting. I hope it's coming clear. Very pretty. Okay, I better, let me rewrite that. Seven and three quarters size. Okay. <laughs> the next one, um, similar stone, yep. Oh, this one's azurite. Okay, so it's a little darker. Okay, this one has um, azurite, probably Aurora azurite, tanzanite, and it's platinum over sterling. This is a pretty ring. Look at that blue in the middle. Looks like the world almost, doesn't it? With the blue and then the green like the ocean and the, the land. And then it has the tanzanite, oops, here on each side, I believe, yeah, they're a marquee cut. And and diamonds around, around the azurite. And that one is also 45. And it is a size seven. I'm gonna re-size um, that one though, just to make sure. Let's see. Oh. No, don't start barking. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's a seven. <laughs> and I'm not picking you up, buddy. I'm sorry, you cannot come up right now. Okay, I'm gonna jump into another stone. Um, let's go with some Jasper. Okay, this one, oh, this is really pretty and dainty. This is Rainforest Jasper in a cushion cut, which is like that really pretty pillow cut. Um, and diamond uh, on the sides. This is a nice setting. Um, and it's platinum over sterling. Wow, my dad's only asking 30 for this one. Hey, Davida, how are you? So the, it's a size eight. 
Um, the diamonds are in a smooth setting here. So they're set into the setting. I know it's hard to see. And then there's some on the sides. Let's see. Yeah, that's a smooth setting too. So they're both set in. So size eight and it is $30. That's a nice one. And it's um, Rainforest Jasper. Looks close to Picture Jasper, but this one's Rainforest. And see that beautiful cut on there? I like that cut. It's called a cushion cut. So it looks like a little puffy pillow. My DIY, Davida. Um, oh, the muffin, the cupcakes. Oh, aren't they cute? You know, I made them and then I thought, mm, they're cute. But with it just being, um, you know, just the natural color of the burlap and then the little cherry on top, it kind of looked like bran muffins. So I thought, well, let me, let me add the icing. And that, I think, made it way cuter. Thank you, though. So inexpensive, too. It has the filigree on the side. The smooth setting of the diamonds there, so they're inset, they're flat. And same with the ones on uh, the top next to the actual Jasper. Very pretty, very simple, elegant, um, $30, <gasps> whoa. Size eight. And so are the fires fully contained now? Cause I, excuse me, I have not watched the news. Hey Joe. I know Pam, it's, it's a big size. This next one's a big one too. So close your ears. <laughs> uh, it's actually a bigger, bigger one. Um, it's also reinforced Jasper. It's a solitaire cut and it also is platinum over sterling. So it's a size nine. Um, but the beautiful thing about this ring is it has the filigree. Excuse my burn right there. Um, underneath it in the setting. So you can see the cut metal. Let me take it off and you can see it better. So not on just one side, you know, it's got on all three sides. So that's nice. It just makes for a prettier setting. So when it sits up on your finger, it's in like another design too. You know, it's not just the rock on your finger or the gemstone. And I love taupe colored anything. So this one is 30 and that's a size nine. And did I say platinum over sterling? Because it, it's platinum over sterling. And Rainford, Rainforest Jasper. That's a nice cut, the solitaire. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there any more Jasper? <coughs> Excuse me. No. Okay, so that's all the Jasper that I'll be showing for today. Then I have, I know I have shown this ring before, but I think my dad has duplicates of this one because I grabbed it out of a different box. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this one is 35 and it's a Mozambique garnet, three stone ring. So it is, what is that called? Trilogy? Tri Let's see. Yes, because the middle one's bigger. And the other two on each side are smaller. And it's in platinum over sterling. Size seven. And it's a uh, Mozambique garnet, which is from Africa. So it's a simple, clean ah. ring. No little guy. Um, Davida, have you, no, have you done any other DIYs? I have to catch up on everyone's videos. I have been working so much lately. 
Now I have shown this. Oh. I have a spray bottle. <laughs> that scares him. <laughs> okay, this one, <laughs> um, I don't actually spray him. I think I've sprayed him once. This is an emerald quartz, and then this one I have shown because I remember it. And it's got the Kagan Zambian, Kagan Zambian emerald and diamond. So the emerald quartz is the main stone. Ooh, pumpkin candle holders. That sounds cute. Did you just put it up? Um, these are the emeralds on the sides and the diamonds are ones that are um, kind of wrapping around. And it's only, I like this one because I like that the setting, it's very different. How, and it's got like a little swirl hook effect on the setting on each side, if you can see that. Okay, size nine, platinum over sterling, and that one was 30, but it's a size nine. So Sandra, I don't know where you're at, but today I'm showing a lot of size nines. <laughs> hey, Anita, how are you? Okay, we're gonna go with another um, jade ring. This one I have shown. I haven't showed it in a while, I don't think. Uh, this one's pretty. I actually like this one. And I don't typically like darker jade, but this one's really pretty. A couple, oh shoot, I missed that message. Okay, this is jade and white topaz um, and Thai black spinel. And uh, platinum over sterling. It's a size 9. So I don't typically like the darker green jade, but in this setting, I do. Oh, cool, Davida. I can't wait to see your DIYs. <laughs> um, and, oh, thank you, Anita. So here's the jade. Okay, I'm going to go get... My dog, real quick, guys. I'm sorry. The puppy. Darn him. <laughs> All right, buddy. You're in trouble. Come here. Come here. Right now. Come here. Come here. Come here. You can't terrorize the kitties like that, okay? You have to respect their space. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I like the pumpkin sound. Oh, Joe, you put Joe, do you have um? Did you put the video on Facebook? And yes, David, I want to make those cylinder pumpkins. Oh, on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, you know what, Joe? When I first started, I think my videos could only be 15 minutes or under. And a lot of them were going over, so I had to, like, start all over again. And then they changed it. Okay, so here is the jade. These are the white topaz. And then here are the Thai black spinels, which are the best um, spinels, black spinels that you can get. I like this one because it almost looks like a clover shape, and I love clover. Um, let's see. Size 9, platinum over sterling. Oh, yeah, of course, Anita. Yeah, so if you guys buy something on Saturday and then I'm having a, another one on Sunday, just wait. Just wait until 
a Sunday and see if there's anything else because I, I would rather put it together. Although I think next Saturday or next weekend, I'm just having the one day of Saturday show. Okay, and this ring is 65. So um, for diamonds, the... Um, hey, Ray. Um, if you... People like gemologists, if they don't have the diamonds, what they'll use in everyone's in, in its place is um, white zircons. And then if they don't have those, they'll use the um, white topaz, which I love white topaz because they're so brilliant. I mean, look how like the brilliance in it, like the bling, I guess you want to say. So pretty. Yes, so all of you subscribe to each other. Um, Davida, uh, Granny Josie, um, Anita Fanita, Creative Homescaping. Um, am I missing somebody? Hi, Kim. Okay, that one's 65. And... Oh wait, let me let me finish a couple more jade pieces. I only have two more jade pieces. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I have my country bumpkin uh, blouse on. It's so comfortable though because it's all cotton, and I just love it. And it's just so hot here that I thought, oh my gosh, I'm wearing this. I don't care if it if it looks like a country bumpkin, but <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. So this is a jade pendant. I did show this one before. Um, now this is a color jade that I really love. It's a lighter jade. You match with the background. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, thank you, Davida. You know, when I put my hair up, it's really because it's so hot here and I just want it off my neck, but it just looks neater, I think, and off my face. Thank you. I'm good, Kim, other than it being hot here. <laughs> Hotter than Hades. <laughs> okay, this is a green jade pendant with, um, it's a 24-inch um chain that's in 14 karat and the so the I don't let's see it must be everything that is okay so it's sterling silver with the 14 karat gold over it oh I know Han Vida. yeah you're stuck more in the canyon so you probably are it's like a valley you just get more heat yeah. So all of this little design, it's the 14 karat gold, but it's um, over the silver and it's called, it's ionized. And it's a very thin pendant. Isn't that beautiful? I don't normally like these, but this is pretty. And it's got that little, I guess it's a dragon. And that one is 50. He was ask, going to ask 135 on eBay, and it's 30 carats. Yeah, 30 carats. So on that one. All right, this is the last jade piece that I'll show. And it is three rings, and they are set, but you can buy them separately. Um, it's green, purple, and pink jade in silver. And isn't that beautiful? Now the um, it's in sterling silver. The pink and the purple jade rings are six size six. And then the green one is five and three quarters, that one. And I like that these are have the little squiggly design on the side, not just 
like this, you know, the simple. So you can buy these separately. Um, let's see, what did he say? It's $50 for all three or $20 each. And um, I think the purple and the pink are really pretty. They're just different. Okay, so that's the end of the jade. Now we're gonna get into some citrine. Okay, now I have showed you this one before and I do, I do have two of them. Oh, Granny Joe, do you want the purple one? Now the purple one is a size six. Let me double check. Yeah, size six, purple. Okay, I will shine them up before they head out. <laughs> I forgot to do that on one of Pam's, um, her ring, I felt so bad. Okay, let's see, Granny Josie, Joe. Joe. Got it. Oh, you guys are so good subscribing to one another. That's that's really good. Okay, this next ring is a Madeira, I believe. Oh, Santa Ana, yeah, Madeira Citrine and Brazilian Citrine and Black Diamond um, in Platinum over Sterling. So this would be, what size is it? Size seven and this, I have two of these or my dad has two of these, they're both size sevens. Okay, so this is the Madeira Citrine. I hope you can see it, guys, sorry. Okay, and then this is a Brazilian Citrine on the outside. And then all the black that you see are the black diamonds. Let me put it on, maybe that'll be a little better. Yeah, I know, huh, for fall. If it fit me, because I kind of like the style, I think it's really pretty. And this one is $30, and I have two in a size 7. Isn't that pretty? I, I know you really can't see the detail, but um, you little, there we go. Almost looks like an eyeball. <laughs> the eye of Horus $30 size 7 and there's two of those okay Ooh, two more citrines this one's pretty this one is your typical um, setting but it's bigger the gemstone is really a lot bigger so it's really pretty um, and it's a Brazilian citrine. So the Brazilian citrines are a little bit lighter yellow and the Madeira um, are a little darker, almost like an amber color, really pretty. So let me just try to shine this up real quick. Okay, <clears throat> now this is a size six. Yeah, it doesn't go very far on my finger. <laughs> um, and it's in st sterling silver. But it's a nice big stone, as you can see. Isn't that pretty? And that's my cat drinking water. He's kind of an old cat, <laughs> so he, he slurps and gurgles when he drinks his water. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so this one's 35 because it's 4.2 carats of the citrine, the Brazilian citrine. 35 and size six. Okay. One more citrine. All right, this one is a little more dainty um, than the last one. Hey, silly. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, this is an Argentinian 
rhodochrosite ring. Let me try to shine it up a little bit. Um, it's also in, oh, this is just silver. Okay. And it's 7.95 carats with some diamonds on the side. This is a pretty little ring. And this one's 30. This is a pretty little feminine ring. So Brazilian or Argentinian, I'm sorry. I, I keep thinking it's citrine, but see how it has like a little bit of a lime yellow to it. And then you can see the amber also. So it's, it looks a lot like Brazilian citrine, but this is actually Argentinian rhodochrosite and it's in a cushion cut stone. You can see where I was polishing it. It's a size six and it's 30. Isn't that pretty? Oh, sure, let's see the last ring. Okay. Write that down. Okay, 30 uh, size six. All right, the last one that I showed is a Brazilian citrine. And it's 4.20 carats in sterling silver. And it's a size six. So it has a smooth setting with the dual rope design. And then like a little uh, design on the side of the ring here. You can see that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Anita, are you talking about in like this style or just in in general? Because I had a pink one that I showed yesterday. Hearts on, are they hearts? Hold on, no, they're, they're kind of like teardrops. Oh, any style, okay. So I don't know if you could see, it's like teardrops with the um, mold around it. So it's raised. It's just a pretty ring. It's it's a typical style, but because the stone is so big, it, it looks very unique and very pretty. Small size, yeah, size six. I know I can barely fit it on my finger. <laughs> um, let's see. I have, as far as pink, I did show a couple. Yes, uh, let me think here. Okay, let me show you one one of the pink that I have. And this is not a clear st gemstone. It's like, um, they call them milky. So they're not see-through. Uh, let's see, okay. This is the Argentinian rhodochrosite and diamond ring in sterling silver with the 14 karat gold over it, rose gold. So that's the Argentinian rhodochrosite right here, right there, and then the diamonds. And then you can see the rose gold. It's a pretty dainty ring. It, the rose gold I think is nice. It, you can't see it. Okay, there you go. I think his um, fluorescent lights above me, <laughs> but it is rose gold. It's pretty, it really um, accents the stone. And then it has a filigree here on the side. Very small, but you can kind of see it. I know it's hard to see in the camera. Now this one, no, I don't make these. Sorry, I meant to say that. 
Um, my dad does make jewelry. He's a gemologist. Um, and uh, he has bought these um, being a gemologist. And um, he also makes jewelry, but he's not able to um, make jewelry right now. Um, because he's had surgery recently, so, but he'll, he'll get back into it. He does have to go back for a second surgery. I think it's September. We're not sure of the date, but it's coming up. And so he probably won't be making or finishing what he has too soon. Oh, really? Selena, did your dad have surgery recently? I think I remembered that when you were, that's right, when you were on, uh, Joan's channel, right? Oh, wait, before your dad passed, um, he made jewelry. Okay, so this one is 40 and yeah, size six. Okay, you want clear, clear pink. Okay, yes, I do have, let's see. Hold on. Okay, this one you might have missed yesterday, um, Anita. Let's see. I don't know if you got to see this one yesterday. It's a Rubolite in sterling silver. And it's a size 6.75, so not quite a 7. And um, it's in sterling silver. So it's got the rubellite here in the middle. And then the amethyst, one on each side. And then these here are actually rubellites. They're coming off as purple, but they're pink. They're like a magenta, like a deep pink. Yeah, that's a pretty ring. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's right, Selena. You had surgery. That's right, I remember. That one's 75. Rubellite is a little bit of a, not a rarer stone, but it's a more expensive stone. And it's a, the stones are inset, so it's a smooth setting on the sides. Buddy, you can't be crying again, okay? Um, let's see, in a light blue, you said. That one, Anita? is a 6.75 so that's like not quite a seven and as far as blue yes i have a couple of um what's that stone called it's a february birthstone um let me see i'll remember when i look at it hold on one second let me go grab it Tanzanite is beautiful, I know. Um, we had some Tanzanite, we still have some Tanzanite, but um, it's at my dad's house. Let's see. Okay, let me show you a couple of these and then I'll look for the other ones. All right, I need to. So this is, um, I think this is tanzanite, yeah. So this is a light tanzanite. It's um, Bondi Blue tanzanite. And it has white zircons, which are my favorite buddy. And it's a size eight though. But I have another ring here. Um, and so the tanzanite is the middle stone. Hold on buddy, hold on. Aquamarine, thank you, yes, yes Pam. So aquamarine, is that March? March, okay, yes. So 
tanzanite, tanzanite on the ends, and then the white topaz is on each side of the Bondi blue tanzanite. And that is, um, oh, I'm sorry, not white topaz, white zircon. So white zircon is what they use in place of a diamond. And then after that, they would use a white topaz. And that's a size eight, and that one's 75. Oh, I know, I love, I love blues and greens. And I do have an aquamarine stone here. I'll go grab it. So that's a size eight. It, it is hard to find um, the tanzanite. Oh, Anita, I think you're gonna like this one. Maybe or maybe not, I don't know. It's a bigger ring. But it's so pretty. It's so blingy. I love it. This would be perfect for Vegas. These are just, it's just a fashion um, one. Oh, I bet, huh, Pam? Yeah. And I bet they charge an arm and a leg there. I know I will. Wow. I remember my sister bought... Oh, I have some fire opals here too, um, Selena. Okay, let me show this ring real quick. Austrian crystals um, in sterling silver. It's a very big setting and it's hollow. Oh, that sounds, I do have dark blue sapphires here too. Okay, this is a size eight and it doesn't quite fit on my finger. So it's like a smaller, I don't wanna push it down. But look how pretty. I think it's so pretty. So if I didn't, if it fit better, it would go all the way down and, and look better. But look at that ring. Yes. Didn't I show this one yesterday? So it's a lot of sterling. It's It must be hollow. But look at this. So I'm going to resize it because I think, I don't think it's a eight. Hold on a second. It says it says that it is, but I think the way it's made it doesn't feel like it. But oop, I just pushed it all the way down. I hope I can get it off. Isn't that pretty? For Vegas. When you're at the tables. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know how to play the tables. <laughs> Okay, so on to, uh oh. Okay, there we go. I like that it's very smooth, all rounded. Okay, buddy, I'm coming. He's driving me crazy. I'm coming, buddy. I promise. <laughs> oh, that one is 40 on the, that big one that I just showed. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me go grab them. Buddy. Seriously, you're making me look bad, okay? And as gorgeous as you are, really, but still, come here. Come on, I'm gonna keep you on this leash over here with me. That way you can't torment the poor cats, okay? Oh, okay, Selena. Oh, okay, let's see. Twin, I'll have to send a hexagon right there. I'll take, um, Anita, you want this big one? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Anita, did you get your package yet? Oh, I guess they don't deliver on Sundays, huh? Oops. Let's see. All right, Selena, this is, um, come here, Fire Opal. And these are, I would say they're my newer favorites over the last few years. Um, they're from Jalisco, Mexico, and that's where they find, um, oh, they haven't gotten it yet? Shoot. See, so yeah, next time I'm gonna split it up in two packages, I think, because I think that'll get there quicker, Anita. So, this is um, Jalisco Fire Opal. 
and it has diamonds around it, platinum over sterling. It's a size eight. Isn't that pretty? I liked, I like that it is not just, it's got like scalloped a little bit around the edges. Yeah, this one's pretty. Why I like the Jalisco Fire Opals is they're a deeper fire in them, like a deeper orange almost. Uh, that one is a size eight. And that one is 50. I think I showed this one, I don't know, probably two weeks ago, um, 50 on this one. Very pretty. Do you, oh, did you want it or do you just saying you like it? Okay, let's see. All right, let me get into, we'll do this one here. And this one's kind of a blue ring. I'll get the, oh, I know, Anita, it looks good on you too. That's what I have. It's not that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I think it looks better if you have a little bit of a tan because it really pops. Oh, thank you, Selena. Uh, this is a Northern Lights Mystic Topaz. Anita, you might like this one. Um, it's smaller, but if you're looking for like pinkish, bluish rings, um, it has Arissa Rhodolite Garnet also. So it's got the topaz and garnets, and it's in um, sterling. It's a size 7, and this one's only 30. So that's the Mystic Topaz in the middle. And then these are the Arissa Rhodolite Garnets on the side. And it's in silver. And it's just a very simple, oh, and it's got the little diamond, diamonds set in on the side. It's a cute ring. It's a very like dainty, pretty ring. So Mystic Topaz, you'll get like the green, the blue, the pretty uh, purples. And this one's 30, it's a size seven. No, you can't get in my lap. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> He's driving me nuts. Um, Selena, did you want that fire topaz or are you just saying it's nice? Come here. Come here. Come say hello. Oh my goodness. This is the little terror. Let me see. Let me see your face. Is it clean? Huh? Yeah. This is the little troublemaker. Look at him. Doesn't he look like, um, oh, what are they called? Those little, um, those little weasels that stand up on their hind legs. They made it, they made a show out of it. That, okay, he's growling at this. <laughs> oh my God. He's growling at this where I put necklaces on. Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh, you're such a dingling. Oh, okay, buddy, you gotta get down now. Oh. Meerkats, he looks like a meerkat. Okay, <laughs> um, let's see, let's go to this one. You might like this one, Anita. Hi, Nana, how are you? <laughs> you just missed my crazy dog. <laughs> You know, he's a puppy, so he's still like checking things out and driving me crazy. Um, okay, this is a Sri Lanka Rainbow Moonstone and Catalina Low Lights um, in Platinum Over Sterling. And it is a size seven. So that's the Moonstone in the middle. It's pretty. And then the Catalina low lights are on the side. And Catalina low lights can come in various colors, like a light blue to like purplish 
bluish color. They're really a beautiful stone. And it's in uh, platinum over sterling, size seven. And it's um, $30. This is like a classic style too. I like this one. Let me get closer. Okay, size seven on that one. Let me show you some amethyst. Lori, please, why put platinum or syrup? Oh. Ray, so um, you know how um, sterling silver tarnishes, right? It gets oxidized from the air and it starts turning like a tarnished color. Um, let's see if I can show you. So when you put platinum over it, <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna get a statement piece, the dog. <laughs> um, I haven't shined this one up completely. I just started to shine it up. But silver, this is pure silver, okay? And you see how it has like that darker um, tinge to the metal because it's oxidized. So with the platinum over the sterling, why they do that is so that it doesn't tarnish. It will tarnish over over several years, but it takes a lot longer where, where silver will tarnish pretty quickly you know you have to shine it up every few months or you know every six months or so and you, you have to shine it up hey so that's why it's so popular to put the platinum over the sterling and it, it just does not tarnish nearly as fast as regular sterling so and it gives it a nice shine it's like a protective coat i guess you want to call it okay so that ring i just showed you i have several of these and in different sizes, this is a size six, and it's an amethyst. So remember guys, the darker the amethyst, the more the stone is worth. The lighter the stone, it's not as a good quality of amethyst. And this is just in the typical uh, sterling silver setting. And I think I have sixes and sevens. Okay, buddy, what are you working at now? And this is 1.8, 1.68 carats, and this is only 25, size six. So now that we're on the amethyst, I'll show you um, some other, let's see. Hey, 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 be quiet. So, <laughs> he, hey, what did I say? I use a spray bottle to like threaten him. I don't spray him with it. Hey, look it, I have a spray bottle. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, this is a very... Um, Pam, which one do you want? To go with the necklace, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. Pam, let me show you this next one. You might like this one. Okay, hold on. So I just showed you, what size is this? Oh, darn it, it's a seven. Okay, so the one I showed you is a six. Where did it go? Right here. All right, this is a six. It is a deep purple, and your necklace is a deep purple, so that would be a nice match. Okay, so that is a size six. This one, seven, and I just think it's so pretty too. This is a nice dark purple. You want the necklace and the ring. Okay. Uh, this is a size seven. That's going to be too big, huh? But it's also amethyst in the solitaire cut. Uh, Uruguayan amethyst. Platinum over sterling. Size seven. That's the only thing. It's a seven. Too big, huh, Pam? That one, I'm going to measure it way too big. Yeah, let me measure it real quick, but I think it's a seven. I'm positive because it kind of fit me a little bit. Yeah, it's a seven. Okay, well, on to the next. 
Let me write this down, Pam. I'll shine it up too because I, I don't want to forget to. Six fits my middle finger loosely. Okay. So, Pam. And number three. Okay, got it. This next one, it is. Okay, it is also an amethyst. It's really dark. Oh, <laughs> um, this ring is really dark, uh, amethyst, and it has diamonds and um, platinum over silver. And what is, uh, oh, and peridot. See, I can't even read my own writing. So this is a nice ring. This is a size eight. So you see the peridot on the sides and then the diamonds around it. So that's the peridot, the two rows there, and the diamonds on the side. That is the very dark amethyst, which is a very nice stone because it's so dark. It's almost black. I mean, you could tell it's purple, but very dark that's a good quality amethyst and the, the peridot is very pretty too it's like striking next to each other it's hard to tell with this lighting but it does look it's like a nice compliment so on the color wheel the green and the purple are across from each other and yes it is a gorgeous stone a nice cut and then it has a little filigree on the sides see there it's like a little bow <laughs> This one is 50, and it is a size 8, so it's a, a bigger size. Very pretty, though. So you can see that it's purple now. Yeah, that one's really pretty. Okay. Then... Thank you. Um, all right, let me, I'm gonna look for the light blue ring that you're talking about, um, Anita, here in a second. Let me just show these other couple real quick. This is, ooh, this is a bigger ring. I think it was meant to be a men's ring, but I can't see why, and I, don't, I just can't see why a man would wear this ring. It's a little too blingy. But it's a gold stone and simulated red diamond in stainless steel. And it is $20, but it's a size 12. So <laughs> it's pretty big. But that's a big gold stone there. And then the red diamond uh, right here and on the top. And then the regular diamond around. Oops, where am I? Right here yeah it is a very and it has a vintage vibe to it and that's what I like about it but size 12 so it is kind of it's big and it's in stainless steel which is the hardest metal oh and it has the diamonds on the side too see on the sides there I didn't see that that's a pretty ring um, $20, but it's a 12 and you can't get the stainless steel, um, size. It's too strong of a metal. I guess you could put an insert in it, but that's a pretty big ring. And I think it's even big on my thumb. It's, it's big on my thumb too. Yeah. Okay. But maybe if someone has, you know, like larger hands, that might work. Um, okay, this is really pretty. This one I like a lot. This is um, Mojave Blue Turquoise with, I believe, Amethyst. Yep, Amethyst in silver. And it's a size 8. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? The Amethyst with... Isn't that beautiful? 
Yeah, I really love this one. So pretty. And it's got the little um, emboss all the way around the metal. I know I love the color too. It's so beautiful. I love purple too. I love wearing purple. It gives me a bump of color. <laughs> um, and I like wearing orange too and blues. Okay, that one's 90 because of the size of the, the Mojave stone, uh, turquoise, and the amethyst. 90 size 8 in sterling. Very pretty. That has almost like a nice vintage vibe to it too. Okay. This next one is a Maha or Mojave, a Mabe Pearl. I know you've heard me talk about this. Now I haven't shined this one up yet, so please excuse it's a little tarnished. Um, it's a size eight. This one's $35. And it's a Mabe Pearl. So it has that typical, you know, um, setting for the sterling and then the braid and then the braid down the side. So it's kind of like that peacock mauve pearl I showed yesterday, but this is just the white um, mauve pearl. And in sterling size eight, that one is 35. Okay, now I'm gonna show you uh, one fun little, a couple of fun little um, fashion jewelry pieces. And yeah, one, two, two fashion pieces, two more fine jewelry. Oh, okay, and that's a vintage piece. Okay, let me just show you this. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh, but it's really pretty. It's actually really, really cute. Um, this is a crocodile cuff um, with black and white Austrian crystals in silver tone. And silver tone, like I've explained, is silver over a metal. So it's not just like, you know, complete junk metal. It's, it's not stainless, but it's silver over a metal. And it's this little, <laughs> isn't he cute, this little crocodile? It's so silly, but it's, it's cute. And it's actually pretty, <laughs> I think my dad had a cat one and we can't find it now, <laughs> but I want the cat one. It doesn't really fit my wrist very well, but as you can see, isn't that funny? Pretty at the same time and cute. <laughs> oh, his mouth is open too. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, that one's $10. <laughs> I would wear it too. But with like, um, I don't know, like denim. Yeah, I like that his mouth is open. I think that's the best part. Look at, oh, you can't see. Yeah, there we go. And his little teeth in the front. Isn't that hilarious? But he has the Austrian crystals all the way on his, you know, around his face, his head, arm, or wait. None on the arms, but down his back to his tail. And then the rest is just in the silver tone. And it's a cuff bracelet. So I hope my dad finds the cat one because I will for sure wear my, the cat one. So that one's $10. It's a fun little piece. And then this one is also, I've shown this one before. I just think this one's pretty. This would be pretty on a black blouse a cream colored blouse if you're wearing a suit. I'm not picking you up right now. This is a Siberian um, Seraphonite. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and it's an 18 karat yellow gold over brass. Um, and then with yellow gold over stainless. Okay. No, that's not right. Oh, this got mixed into the wrong box. Okay, never mind. Well, I think I have the box somewhere here. But nobody. Yeah, because that's not that stone. Anyways, it got mixed up. But look how pretty that panther is. 
um, in that stone. I had said, I think some form of a jasper. And then the back, how nicely made it is. But this, this chain is stainless steel, I can tell. But it's not what it's written here. So I, I think I mixed one up. So I'll have to find the right thing if anyone's interested. <laughs> okay. Um, this is, let me show, this is one vintage piece that um, it's a pendant. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with Druzy quartz. So Druzy quartz, um, it kind of, it can be high, it can run high. But um, this is uh, a Druzy quartz with mystic topaz. The mystic topaz is what's nice. It's big, it's very big. And it's in sterling silver. Isn't that pretty? So you can see, I know me too. I love purses, jewelry. So you can see the Druzy, how it's a like cut. You okay, buddy? And it's, see the side of it? And then it's cut. Isn't that neat? And then the big mystic topaz on top. <laughs> he wants me to pick him up so bad. Come here. Come here. Come on. Well, come on. Jump. Hold on. And that one is 60. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Come on. Come on. Jump. Oh, now you don't want to jump? <laughs> oh, it's like having a baby, I tell you. Right, here's my newborn, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, and that was in sterling silver. Okay, let me move on to the next. Okay. I know he's a little pill, but I love him. How could someone have abandoned him? I mean, I think he, they abandoned him because he was, he's very, has separation anxiety, but I think from how they treat him, and I think they kept him outside, like just not tied up or anything or in a cake, nothing. They just like led him outside or they kept him in a car because he's very comfortable in a car. Isn't that sad? So he's a little Jack Russell Chihuahua mix and he's really muscular. <laughs> he's acting all shy. It's so funny because he's really not. Okay. This next one, I don't know if Davida is still here, but these are black sapphires. And I think I showed this one yesterday. I did not shine this one up, so pardon. Okay. Or I showed them the weekend before. It's a three stone and these are, it's a trilogy. Black sapphire and sterling silver size seven. So... They look almost like, and they have the diamonds on the side. So you can see how they're black, but have that blue green tinge and little diamonds on the side. And I think that they purposely did the sterling, the silver in this tone. Cause I just tried to um, buff it and it just looks the same really. And that one is 25, size seven, black sapphire. Okay. This next one is um, Hebe Peridot and diamond. And it is in platinum over sterling. It's a size seven. So they're all Peridots. So it's like a little graduation, the big stone in the middle, two on the side that get smaller. And then um, the diamonds on the side. I know it's probably hard to see the little the diamonds. There you go. That's a size seven and there's biscuit. And that one is 45. <laughs> 45 on that one. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I don't know if you could see it better off my finger. Nobody, nope, nope, nope. Let's 
August birthstone. Okay, is it? So this month, okay. I know Kim, and believe me, I'm a huge animal activist. I have been since I was really young. Um, and it really makes me mad. Very, It hurts my heart to the core when I see things. And oh gosh, it really just, I don't know, hurts my heart. Size seven, 45 on that Perdo ring. Um, <laughs> like my one roommate was not happy at the fact that I got this, I'm keeping the dog because he is, you know, he, he's got separation anxiety. So, um, he barks a lot and cries when I'm not around. And so I'm trying to fix that. He's better when he's with my dad, but he still whines. And so see, he just whines, he just whines and he just wants to be rubbed and loved because he's a puppy he's still a puppy so i mean i saw these people dump him i saw what they did and i did confront them but so i just caught him and took him home <laughs> he's such a whiner <laughs> oh my gosh okay the next one is what is this one? Oh, i showed you guys that okay i showed you guys this one already also I'm going to show it one more time. And Pam, I'll send you the pictures of the gemstones, the um, lapis lazuli. I know I was so sad that day. I was so sad for him that they did that to him. I couldn't believe it. Um, the lapis lazuli gemstones, the ones that are cut for earrings, they are, I believe, a cushion cut. So they're rectangular and they're very small, very pretty. I'll send you a picture of those. This is a lapis lazuli pendant, and I believe it has, um, yeah, white Austrian crystals at the top of the bale. Right there, I don't know if you can see that. It's a nice bale too. And it's just on a silk rope silk cord, so you could switch it out. Um, this is 30 carats of the lapis lazuli. Isn't that, a, I love this stone, and it's um, $30. I think it would be really pretty on a sterling silver, you know. Um, chain. So $30 on that one, and that's 30 carats. I think it's stunning. Let's see. It's nicely made too, you can tell. Okay, so Anita, you may have missed the bracelet I showed in the very beginning. Um, thank you, Treasure Trove. This is Mojave Blue Turquoise. And it has, it's um, a cushion cut, which is like that pillowy cut. Look at the beautiful gold flex in there. And it's five stones. Did I show you this one to you already? I can't remember, Anita. Um, and it's got the braided rope uh, hoops in between. And then each setting has really beautiful detail. I know you can't see at the top, but there's um, the braid after the setting. And then there's this detail of like, you know, scrolls and, and such. It's just really beautiful. And it's very dainty. Um, this one's more because of the amount of turquoise and kind of reminds me, it's, it reminds me of something I'd find Italy or Mexico, if you could see it better on here. This one's 110. So pretty. And it has the toggle connector. All right, let's see. Let me show you this before I go grab uh, the other stone that we were talking about, the blue stone. Um, this is a 20 inch. Oh, um, this is a 20 inch necklace. It's blue halite. 
an Austrian um, crystal um, in the earrings and necklace and the stainless steel is in the earring part and probably the clasp. But look how pretty this is. So the Austrian crystal and then the blue halite teardrops. And it's very long, it's a 20 inch um, necklace. So let me, this one is 40. So it's pretty long, it's 20 inch. Okay, well, anyways, it's very long, 20 inches. I know it's hard to see that. It's crystals all the way, all the way around the strand. I know, huh? <laughs> this is a chunky ring. So this is how light. So it looks like turquoise, but it's not. Um, you know, how light kind of looks like Sleeping Beauty turquoise because of the light blue. But in Sleeping Beauty, the Beauty, you don't have that veining as much as like in the how light. So, so beautiful. All right, 40 got $40 on that one, guys. That would be pretty like for the holidays, New Year's Eve. That'd be a nice set to wear. All right, let me, oh, I missed that comment. Let me um, grab the, that other birthstone ring real quick. Hold on one second. Hold on guys. Can we see where I put it? Okay. Um, excuse me for sniffling. <clears throat> this is the um, sorry, my allergies. <laughs> this is a Spirito Santo Aquarine ring in platinum over sterling. So it has, yeah, so this is just aquamarine. That's it. Aquamarine and sterling, platinum over sterling. What, Rebecca, you mean from, um, from beach to the boardwalk or beach to barnyard? She was laying in a bed with lemons. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious. That is funny. So that's the aquamarine. Sorry for my cuticles. Yes. <laughs> and it's just gorgeous because it's just aquamarines and the platinum or sterling. Oh, I'll have to watch it. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's so funny. I'll have to watch your video now. <sighs> Anita, are you here? <laughs> so um, that one is 40 and it's a size seven. Okay, and, okay, I didn't know if you liked that one or not. I'm going to show these real quick. These, excuse me, I got hiccups now. Um, these are only $20. You dosed off. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's funny. 
Okay, so I need to, um, these are tarnished for sure. I need to, but I'm gonna show them to you. Um, these are white Austrian crystals in um, sterling. It's I have three of them in a size seven and they're $20. So the band is just a thin silver band and then the under part, the setting, and then the Austrian crystals. It's like a dome. I showed these, I think last weekend, $20. <laughs> so I have three of these in a size seven. Okay. And, oh, I showed that already. Anita, you might like this one because it's hearts. <laughs> so this is a stainless, wait. Yeah, stainless steel heart shaped necklace, 24 inch. Very simple, something you could probably wear every day. And re remember stainless steel does not tarnish, which is nice. And this one is 15. So they're just little hearts. Isn't that cute? Let's see, better here. And it's a 24 inch necklace. So you could put like, you could put it on here. And that one is 15 in stainless steel. Um, okay. All right. I am, I'm going to, um, show one last piece of fashion jewelry and then I'll probably end it here. Um, this one is just fashion jewelry. It's nothing spectacular. It's just fashion jewelry and it might be good for the holidays or as a gift. Um, let me take it off of this thing so I can show it better. Let's see, hold on guys. If I put it that way, you guys can see it better. Okay. Let me take it off. So it has earrings that match and they're, it's just fashion jewelry. It's nothing spectacular. Um, but it's got earrings to match and it is a simulated. So that means not real simulated white sapphire um, glass pearl. That's the black necklace part. Um, necklace in a 16 to 18 inch, it's a necklace, that's the length. Um, and the earrings are in silver tone with stainless steel posts. So let me see if I can, no, I can't hook it in here. Okay, well, I'll just hold the earrings separate, but. So <laughs> I hope you can see them. Those are the earrings. Okay. And that's the necklace. The earrings. So this one is 20. And like I said, it's they're it's just simulated. So these are simulated white sapphire earrings, meaning not real. And the posts are stainless steel. And then it comes with a matching pendant, just like that necklace. And then these are glass beads. And that's 20 for the set. So.
So it's no stone or anything, nothing like spectacular. It's just fashion jewelry. Yes, $20. Can you imagine that? <laughs> For sure. And you want to take that, Pam? Okay. All right, Pam. That'll be a good, like, Christmas gift, too, so that they can work for, like, you know, New Year's Eve or something. Or maybe even before Christmas, if their birthday is before. Okay, Pam. And what number is that? We'll put number four. Okay, got it. Okay, and... Does anyone want to see men's rings or are we done with the men's rings? I know, Pam, that's so good. It's so smart. I started buying my Christmas gifts already. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I have gotten, um, I feel so bad because brother-in-law, he always, I feel like he gets the shaft. No for me on men's. Okay. <laughs> I know those are no fun. Um, so my brother-in-law, he's so nice. You know, he's been really good to our family. Um, he did help pay for my mom's funeral. I mean, he's just that type of person, you know, he's really nice. And um, he is, like, he came over and helped cut um, my huge hedges that I have around as, like, a, it divides our property. It's like a corner lot at my other house. And he came over and rented a machine because he'd rented it for his house and he cut his, and then he came over and said, do you want me to help you cut these? And I'm like, yes, please, thank you. But that day was like 106, and it was so hot. Like, I almost passed out. <laughs> and my little nephew was there helping, and um, so I want to make sure, he does something like that, like big, about twice a year. So I want to make sure I get him something good. So I've gotten him some little gifts so far, and um, so these are the things I got him. I got him from the Dollar Tree, you know, that wet dry, the Rust-Oleum. I figure he can use that on the house and he's very into like, you know, repairing things and stuff. So he could use that on his boots or whatever. I got him that. I got him the photo paper um, from the Dollar Tree that you can print off photos. They're really into that. And um, I got him something else. Yes, I do have the crocodile bracelet. And um, <laughs> look at his mouth. His little teeth are so cute. Look at that. You want to take it? Uh, this reminds me of something like from the 60s and that came around again in the 90s, but now it's coming back again. And so, okay, I don't want to stretch it out. So that one's 10, Anita. All right. Anyways, I have started with small gifts for everybody so far. And I, I'm not going to say what I'm getting my dad because I know he's watching. But it's something that he'll really love. And I'm so happy because I, I think he can really use it too. All right. All right. Now, I can ask you guys if you want me to show you some old older things that I have shown from yesterday and the weeks prior, I can show that, or um, would you all like to end it here? You know, you can tell me what stone you're looking for. I've got the red coral, turquoise. Um, I don't have any Sleeping Beauty here, probably not for a couple of weeks, and that will be, I will have to go to Nevada to get it from my dad's house. Um, more jasper okay bye pam thank you i'll email you let's see i have to go where i love do i feel like sharing with love to get the men's rings another time okay all right bye kim bye pam
Yes, the Sleeping Beauty. I know that there's one ring in particular that um, I want to keep. <laughs> um, I saw it on my dad's spreadsheet, and it's like this beautiful, it's black diamonds, and then the Sleeping Beauties, and it's in sterling silver. It's gorgeous. It's a really unique design, and I said, Dad, I'm keeping that one for sure. But um, uh, there's... Oh, there's so many that he has. Um, everything. I can't, I just can't believe all that he has. Um, do you guys want to see some watches? I think I showed them yesterday again, though. We have more. I have some pocket watches. Um, and here's a question for you guys. So there's some jewelry that is older that we have just like hoarded between my dad and I over the years and I was gonna be putting it in a jar like Anita, like how you do it and then auction it off. But there'll be things from like sterling, um, maybe some gold pieces <laughs> and uh, you know, older pieces, nice stuff, but just things that I, it would take too long to show and it's like older stuff. I thought of putting it in a jar. Now when I ship it, I won't, maybe I'll put it in a bag because it'll, you could see it better and it'll be lighter for shipping. So I was thinking of doing that just to kind of blow it out. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in that. And, oh, Anita, I have a question for you. You know how you do that MSP auction? Oh, okay, Kim. Yeah, huh, in a, in a bag. Okay. Um, you know how you did the MSP auction? Do they take a cut of your proceeds? Also, I'll be putting, I'll have a separate. Wow, they did it, they do it for nothing? So it's just for their views, to go towards their views. Wow. That's really cool because I think Dwayne does a really good job, actually. Do you feel that, um, that's awesome. Do you feel that you can sell other things other than just jewelry? Like I know you did some, you know, knives, but like um, we have some vintage pottery that are like, um, oh, they're like South, Southwestern style, like Indians. They sell them on eBay and they're really expensive, but I really just want to get rid of all the pieces at once, the smaller pieces. Um, so stuff like that. And what else? Um, I would love to get rid of paintings. If any of you live near me, please come see my paintings. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. So I was thinking just like a ship, you know, a priority box, like if it fits in there, then that'll be the lot. I won't put anything more. Um, I wish people lived near me because I have so many decor, like paintings. Um, we have some vintage paintings, um, nothing like Monet or anything, but, <laughs> but we have like, you know, um, for, for my staging business as a home stager, I have so many paintings and I can't use some of them like, anymore because I have used them so many times in staging that the people that I work for, my clients, they don't want to see it. You know, they're like, oh my gosh, you're using that again. You know, so you have to like switch it up really often. And um, I have like the same clients over and over again. They're flippers, developers. And so I can't keep reusing some of these that I've used so, so many times. So I have so much artwork, so much. I have so much decor. I wish you guys lived near me and <laughs> could buy it, <laughs> but, um, cause I'd rather you guys buy it than someone on Craigslist. But anyways, um, so that's a great idea. Maybe I'll put things in a large Ziploc bag, all of our jewelry that's like vintage or older. Um, then I'll do like another bag. Um, my husband and I have a house of things. He's been a hoarder all his life. He just got everything too. I heard jewelry. <laughs> okay. 
Oh my gosh, that's so funny, Treasure Trove. I feel like I'm a hoarder in making, seriously. I feel like my mom was partial hoarder, and I feel like my dad is a partial hoarder, and I feel like that makes me a full hoarder, or at least a quarter hoarder. <laughs> and so that's how it works, right? I would be a quarter. So I have so much. If you guys saw my garage, my I have a three-car garage. And it's, I can't even fit my car in right now in this last month because I've been moving things around. So I have so much like things that I brought from my storage facility here. <laughs> He's on Facebook. You can message him. I'll send you the link. Oh, thank you, Anita. Okay. I did message him on YouTube, but I haven't heard back. Um, so, okay. That'd be awesome. I will have to see your dates. Then I will get with you as soon as I know. Uh, okay. Oh, you're having surgery too. Oh my gosh, I'm still drinking my coffee, and it's like four fifteen. Um, if you guys lived in the area, I wish Marie, who was um on here yesterday, I wish she'd come down. I haven't. I haven't even mentioned this, but. She should come down and look at my decor because I have to get rid of um, whatever I bring to my house. And then I start selling off because I've used it in staging and I can't use it anymore. And so I have a lot of that and a lot of the vintage things that were my mom's I'm keeping, but um, because it's sentimental. But some of like the jewelry that my dad and I have collected, I'm we're getting rid of. The jewelry that my mom had and collected were keeping um, because it's sentimental. But yeah, maybe I will. Um, maybe there's no one on my page that's local, I don't think, except for two people. Um, Twelve thousand square feet, girl. What do you live in a warehouse? <laughs> oh my gosh, my house is like under three thousand. It's like twenty eight something. Holy Moses! Where do you live, Kim? Anyway, oh, you live in. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Anita. That's so nice of you. North Carolina. Okay. I wonder how you would ship, like, multiple paintings. Like, in a box? Like, a big square box? I don't know. Oh, gosh. I have so many paintings. I have some actual oil paintings that are nice and beautiful. And then I have, you know, your typical... Uh, pretty decor paintings. I'll take pictures of them and thank you Anita for suggesting that and that's a good idea because um, it can be overwhelming with the amount of stuff that I have. That's why I'm so glad that I'm doing the jewelry thing for my dad on here. It's helping me so much and even though they're small items, it's still off my mind. Oh, you have a moving team. Kim, are you here in California currently? And then you're moving to North Carolina? That's awesome if you are. And are you going to Las Vegas? Mm, Alabama. My dad is from Mobile. They are painting shipping boxes at you. Oh, that's right. I, you know, I think I've seen them at the UPS store. Okay, yeah. That's true. I wonder how much. The thing is, I'm not selling these paintings for very much. Oh, okay. Kim, you had surgery, right? Have a show paintings and knickknacks like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will. The knickknacks, though, are big. I mean, it's stuff like, I can't even... Um, you know, it might be something big like a pitcher, like that, you know, the, like a big pitcher. So it's nothing like small, it's all like bigger stuff, that's the problem. 
Oh, Kim, I'm so sorry. That sucks. I remember for a year and a half, I had three surgeries and I was in a cast up to my knee. Oh, it was miserable. I hated it because I'm so independent and I couldn't drive. It was awful. I had to depend, I had to depend on everybody. And that's when you know when you have really good friends, true friends, because the ones that came by were the ones that were my true friends. Oh, okay, Anita, that's a good idea. Thank you. Seriously, you totally inspired me to get rid of the jewelry this way because I was feeling so overwhelmed with all of my dad's jewelry. And I thought, oh my God, I can't, this is like too much for me, you know, to handle. It's He has so much, so much. So thank you. I totally feel, I felt inspired by you and Joan. But, you know, you were doing the auctions, so I was just like, oh, gosh, that's a really great idea. Even though I say it's an auction here, I know it's not really an auction. If someone says they want it, they take it, and that's fine. But I think with the big bags, I'll do it in that fashion. It'll be like an auction. You know, we'll start it off at a price, and then you guys can bid on it. And then the things that he bought, my dad, that I didn't think – anyone would be interested in. We're going to be putting that in a bag also. And it's growing actually. The It's like a box now. So um, it'll probably be like two to three bags worth. Um, the only thing is, I don't know, to make it space, you know, I, I don't want to keep things in the boxes, but I feel like it's kind of nice to have the box. So I'll think of a way and maybe I'll put 10 things per bag with the box. So it won't be so heavy. And, um, yeah, my dad's super excited, you know, um, we've been blowing out jewelry cause I get emails after the auction sometimes and people have bought things after the fact. So that's really great. Hey girl, how are you? Gosh, I haven't talked to you in a long time. <laughs> the jewelry is pretty much over. Um, but we're just kind of chit chatting right now. And um, we're just talking about all the stuff that I have and how I feel like a hoarder. Oops, sorry, guys. Hey, I'm going to spray you. And um, we're just kind of hanging out. You can also do it on my channel as well. So many jewelry buyers. Oh, that's a good idea. I know, Anita. You know what? Maybe you should be like Dwayne. Did you read my last comment? No, I didn't, Kim. I'm sorry. The comments go so fast on here. Um, can you copy and paste it again? Anita, seriously, you should like do what, what Dwayne's doing on your channel because you do have a lot of buyers, you know, on your um, channel. <laughs> hey, buddy. Come here. So, oh. He wants to be picked up. Oh, he's such a pill, I tell you. But he's still just a puppy. See, he's so happy if I'm just touching him. Huh, buddy? Huh, baby? No lickies. I don't like the kisses. Um, yeah, think about it, Anita. Maybe you should start doing that. I think you do a great job. And, um, you know, that could be another part of your channel. And... Uh, yeah, people like you. You have a wonderful personality and, you know, you're genuine and you're approachable. So, of course, people are going to gravitate towards you. And I think you should do it. You know, Dwayne does a really good job, really good job, too. I mean, I don't want to take business away from him, but, hey, you might want to look into it, too, because I think it's a great idea. I watched the one that you did with Barb and Grumpy. I'm so grumpy, uh, right? Or gr going on grumpy or something. Oh, <laughs> the kids, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good idea when the kids go back in school. You have three little ones, right? Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. See, school here has already started. Going on grumpy. Yeah. School here has already started. It started last week. And I feel like it feels like everything is kind of going back to normal. 
I don't know if you guys have two ones, 19. Oh, two and so wait, you have two kids and one of them is 19. How old is the youngest one? I had said when I get my date, we will make arrangements with you to meet and purchase is better for me to get a, oh, okay. Okay, Kim, that sounds good. Yeah. You know, my dad's from Mobile and, um, but he lived all over the South, Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama. Oh, whew, twins. Wow. Eight, huh? That's, that's a good age though. That's when they're very independent and they're doing fun things and how awesome to have twins. Oh my gosh. That would have been awesome. Um, and then a 19 year old. Wow. That's a big gap, but I bet your 19 year old loves the, the babies, huh? <laughs> how awesome. Yeah. So, um, uh, who else was from Louisiana? I can't remember her name. Mm, shoot. She was on here earlier, but yeah. So my dad's lived all over the Southern States and, um, I don't know. We have Southern just, you know, entrenched in our family. That's for sure. <laughs> that's funny. So is my nephew. He's nine. He'll be 10 the day after Christmas. And he is super active. All he wears all year long are those, um, you know, those basketball shorts, those like, um, like not like red, but they're you know those loose basketball shorts. He won't wear pants even through the winter time. He just wears that because he's so active. He's always he's like a little monkey, and I think he gets hot easy. He won't wear pants. Absolutely refuses to. So is my um, nephew. Ooh. But you know it's funny because when he's with me. He's, and my dad, he's really calm. But when he's with my sister, he gets amped up because he's feeding off of her energy and she's really like on edge all the time. Do you want any more kids? <laughs> Nita's like, no, I'm good for now. <laughs> That's like a good age, you know, to have kids at eight. Isn't that funny? How even though they're twins, it's like yin and yang. That's so crazy. My sister and I are opposite, totally opposite. My sister is, she's an actress or she was an actress. So she's that personality, you know, likes to be in the spotlight. And then um, I'm not, I don't like to be in the spotlight. Even though I'm doing this with YouTube, I think of it as like Skyping with a friend. I don't think that other people are really watching it. So it's not nerve wracking to me. It's just fun because we're talking and I've talked to all of you and it's not a big deal. But with her, I mean, she's been in a movie. She's been in a gazillion plays. Um, she lived in LA for a while. I lived in LA with her for a while. We both went to Northridge for a short time. But I hated that lifestyle in LA and I came back. I was like, nope, I like it here in our community. It's more subdued, although it's getting really congested. It's very congested here, but um, LA was just like too much for me. I could not handle it. <laughs> and I was like on sensory overload. That's the perfect word. Sensory overload for sound, sight, feel, smell, everything. It was like so much. And um, I just wanted to come home. The traffic was horrendous. It was worse than it is here. And it's so bad here. But I loved living there for the time that I did. It was fun. Northridge, that, you know, that school was awesome. And I'm glad I did it. And I'm glad I'm back. <laughs> I'm glad I came back. I, this is more my speed, you know. I'm more subdued and calm. I think that's why animals really gravitate towards me. Like this one is just, he's fine now that I'm holding him in my lap. Anyway, but um, I will definitely, my dad and I are starting to jar things up.
do you have five kids, Kim? And I couldn't read the rest. And two grandkids. And who who wanted more, you or your husband? Oh, Lord. I'd be happy with one child, actually. I mean, two would be the ultimate. That would be great. But I'm 46. You want babies. Oh, I don't know if it can. I mean, technically speaking, yes, I could still have children, but I'm 46. You know, there could be more complications. And I don't know. I think I'd like to adopt. That would be fun. That'd be really great. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Kim, bless your heart. Five kids. Wow. What are the age ranges, Kim? Five kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Anita. <laughs> Five kids. Goodness gracious. My gosh. That's awesome. We had several. Oh, you don't want to adopt. <clears throat> I totally want to adopt. I would love to adopt one, see how it goes, and then adopt, adopt a second. If it was a brother and sister, or two sisters, or two brothers, I would be open to that. That would be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I have three, 33, 32, 24, four grandkids. Oh my goodness, treasure trove. I had no idea. You look so young. Anita, you do too. I know, me too. Um, uh, Kim, I'm so sorry about the miscarriages. That's awful. So awful. So my sister had her child at 41. So because, you know, later in life having kids, it's more of a risk. She had an aneurysm, a brain aneurysm. So she almost died. And um, the baby, they, they were like, we can't save the baby. But they did. She survived and he survived. 27, 26, 25, 23, 22, grandkids. Oh my goodness, Kim. Holy Moses, you look young in your picture too. Wow. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. So my sister did pulled out of it and my um, <laughs> and my grands or my nephew survived and he's kind of a strangely smart child, but super social, very social, not awkward, talks to anybody, which is kind of a concern. Oh, no problem, Anita. We should probably end it. Um, but yes, I'm going to be putting... Oh, miscarriages are terrible, horrible. I can't imagine. Um, I'm going to be putting all my bags together. And um, thank you, Anita. Me too. Bye, Anita. Um, we'll, I'll be putting the Ziploc bags together of all the jewelry. And we'll I'll do an auction for them. And then some of the new stuff, you know, like new jewelry for my dad. We'll do that. And um, maybe I'll do some of the little knickknacks. If it fits in like a priority box, then I'll ship it that way. And that's it. So guys, I hope you liked this um, jewelry show. And uh, next week I'll be back on on Saturday at 1. I won't be doing it just Saturday. And uh, yeah, let me know what you all want to see. If you want to see more watches, then I'll bring those out. Um, some people have bought some even off, you know, the video from like email to me. So let me know and I will see you guys all later. Thank you all for participating and joining me and talking and it's been fun. Um, Kim, Anita, Pam, Davida, um, who else was it? Treasure Trove, uh, Cindy, I can't remember everyone's name, but thank you everyone, and I will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful weekend, what's left of it, and okay, thank you Kim.
and I will see you all later. I will bring my regular content um, starting tomorrow. Bye, guys.